Now, take a look at this picture. If you don't know what you're looking at, don't worry. We'll get back to it in just a little bit. But this is a chart showing the graduation rate of boys and girls in America, the difference between male and female students. The blue dot represents girls and the orange dot represents boys. Now, the further to the right, the higher the graduation. So you see the bottom left is 70% and the bottom right is 90%. Now, I've done videos on the boys' education gap in the past, but I'm going to do an update because unfortunately, it's not getting any better. Now, this is the Brookings Institution. I think they're very good. And here's what they say about boys' high school graduation rates. The 33 states with available graduation data in 2021 account for over two thirds of the total national cohort. We use these states to gauge the national trend. We estimate that 88.4% of girls graduated on time in 2021 compared to 81.9% of boys, a gap of 6.5 points. Figure two, which is the chart we're gonna look at again, shows the share of high school freshmen who graduated from high school on time in 2021 by gender in the 33 states with available data. And here's that chart again, you know, and it pretty much just speaks for itself. You can look at it and see what it is. Um, you'll see the gap. And something you'll notice that's interesting is that there are no states where the female graduation is below 80%, but there are some states where the male graduation is in the low 70s. So this is a major crisis. Now, this isn't just happening in high school. Of course, this is happening in college as well. It makes sense. If boys are falling behind in high school, then wouldn't they be falling behind in college as well? Wouldn't one follow the other? Let's take a look. Now, this is for college, and you already know what you're looking at now. The yellow dots are men, the blue dots are women, and as you can see, the yellow dots are off to the left because men are much less likely to have college degrees. And what's interesting is look at the title. This is for the ages of 25 to 34. So men have been falling behind for a while. This is not new. This has been going on for over a decade now. So from the article, in 1970, just 12% of young women aged 25 to 34 had a bachelor's degree compared to 20% of men. Okay, that's 53 years ago, a gap of eight percentage points. By 2020, that number had risen to 41% for women, but only 32% for men, a nine percentage point gap now going the other way. Now, sometimes people counter this by saying, but see, the rate for men has gone up too. And that's true. But in the modern world, we shouldn't see a gap. In an ideal world, in an equal world, it should be equal. And the problem is not that women have caught up, it's that now men have started to fall behind. So when you see all these articles about the boy crisis and the young men crisis and the male crisis and the male unemployment crisis and young men living at home and all of these problems, maybe this is where it starts. Maybe we need to look at the education gap because education kind of leads to everything. So this to me is a very important men's issue. And really it's a boy's issue because it starts very young that we need to look at and start taking more seriously. Thank you very much. I'm Blue Orange 22.